Hi everyone, this is uh, Dr. K. I wanted to quickly talk about uh, uh, divorces, relationship issues in this time of uh, pandemic and uh, quarantine and so forth. So um, I, I've been reading the news and, um, and also uh, follow some trends and notice that uh, the divorce lawyers are getting busier now. Um, I don't know if it is good or not. So there seems to be more relationship issues than before. Hi Candy, thanks for being here. So, um, so what is the reason behind that? I think the, the big reason is um, when, uh, when both the, uh, whether it is the spouses or, or friends, they're living together, um, because they're at work most of the day, there's not much interaction. But now people are being forced to interact with each other on a 24 by seven basis. It's causing more friction and uh, it is essentially uh, forcing them to work on their relationship issues. And, uh, and if they're not willing to work on the relationship issues or, um, or if the differences are, as they say, reconcilable, uh, unfortunately, I think uh, it is uh, leading to um, like separation and divorce and all these other bad things. Um, so how do we go about uh, with the relationship challenges? So uh, a big part of it is working on stress and emotional issues. So both partners are under severe stress and if both partners are going through a lot of uh, emotional highs and lows, then chances are, you know, in one of those lows where uh, they'll hit the rock bottom and uh, they'll quit from the whole thing. Part of it is also quitting, you know, emotionally, and mentally quitting from, uh, from everything that is happening. And part of it is also financial, you know, one spouse may lose the job or both spouses may be laid off and they are probably living on unemployment uh, income. So that caused a lot of stress and uh, uncertainty and anger and, and all these other negative um, emotions. So all of these are playing into the relationship dynamic and, um, and causing, uh, causing this problem. So uh, for my clients, I've historically um, um, t taught them on how to do uh, a specific meditation. It is geared towards uh, promoting love and uh, healing any stress in the partnership or relationship. Um, if you're interested, I'll be happy to post that link below. It's from my teacher. You can uh, you can do that meditation. But the big part is uh, communication. You have to really work on communication with your partner um, and, and see where the expectation are. Sometimes if the expectation does not meet with uh, you know what they're noticing, it leads to uh, stress and anger. So a big part of it is communication. Um, I think a lot of psychotherapists are available online now compared to before. They are, um, uh, they are willing to do telemedicine calls, they are willing to do uh, consultations over phone. So, uh, so that's, that's pretty new in this time uh, or in this time period. So uh, those are all available um, in case uh, you're experiencing emotional stress. So these are some of the thoughts that I had. I wanted to quickly share this with you. Um, and, um, and I hope, uh, your relationship is good. So, uh, but if there is, uh, if you notice any problems coming up, these are some of the things that you can explore, uh, mostly with communication and uh, relieving stress. And, you know, I've, I've talked about relieving stress in the past. So that's, that's a big, uh, uh, that's a big, um, part of, you know, everything that I do, you know, how to deal with, like how to cope with stress and how to deal with it properly. So uh, look forward to talking to you all again. Um, I'm going to um, uh, I'm going to do a, um, a session on yoga on the 25th at six o'clock uh, Eastern time. You're welcome to attend that. Um, and there are a lot of exciting things that I'm planning. So I look forward to talking to you all. Hi Teresa, have a wonderful day.